In Breakpoint, it is important to use the tack map, as it's one of your main go-to features to when you want to fast travel or get some vital intel regarding your next mission. Here is where you can get an overview of the 20 different provinces on the Aurora Islands. This map provides you with bivouac locations, missions, blueprints, settlements, and plunder so that you can go out on the islands of Aurora with some goals in mind. You can search for intel in the world by all necessary means. From interrogation to investigation, this intel will show up on your tag map to give you an indication to where to travel next. Even if you choose to have your exploration mode to not guided, the tag map will always provide you with enough information that you can work out where your next mission is by looking at the names of the different locations spread across the map. Also you can set beacons and that will come in handy when you are wanting to know where you are heading next, as this will show up in game with the distance you need to travel. In Breakpoint, the drone isn't available from the beginning of the game. To access it, you must complete the Eagles Down main mission where Halt gives you the drone to use. The drone can be used to target enemies by aiming at them while having the drone activated, in which will give you their position until the target is eliminated or you move away from the area. In addition to this, you can find generators, equipment or intelligence data by using the drone in which will give you an advantage to when you are taking down a settlement. You can also discover new locations by pointing the drone towards locations marked with the question mark and that will update the tack map so that it shows what is at that location once it's been discovered. You can increase the efficiency of the drone by acquiring several skills within the skill tree. These include recon mastery, drone visions, mark area, cooldown, range and speed. Updating these makes the drone a much handier gadget than it already is and therefore you should aim to upgrade these as fast as you can at the start of the game. The drone will definitely help you within Breakpoint. Night vision is the ability to see in low light conditions and it can be used to your own advantage within Breakpoint. Its extensive usage within the military has made it possible to be within the game and therefore you should use it when navigating, surveying and targeting in the dark. You can get the night vision skill shortly after starting the game as it is one of the first perks on the skill tree and it is definitely worth getting if you are doing your first few missions or settlement takedowns within Breakpoint. Most if not all settlements have generators in them, so that is your first task before fighting the sentinel or wolves as it sends the settlement into total darkness. Night vision can be used to take down enemies easier within the dark, whether you're going from settlement to settlement or just taking down enemy bases. Night vision goggles within the game are only for cosmetic purposes that will flip down when you are using them. It is important to not use night vision within buildings that have lights as it will be difficult for you to view who's right around the corner so only use them in the correct conditions. Knowing how to use your stance to an advantage can be the difference between life and death in Breakpoint. There are many heavy firing enemies within the game and which will take you down in not many shots. Standing will allow you to move swiftly and get a fast glance at where your enemies are positioned or heading. So standing is not always the best option within Breakpoint as running will produce a large amount of noise. The crouching will allow you to reduce your height allowing the ability to dodge damage on enemies or projectiles making you less visible or able to enter tight spaces. By crouching within bushes and foliage you are able to hide from enemies that are nearby, therefore making the ability to stealth kill your enemies much easier and much more satisfying. You can also prone within Breakpoint, it might not seem like a useful ability but when there are many rocks, walls and boxes that may allow your head to be struck with fire when crouched, prone is your lifeline and will also hinder the ability for enemies to spot you if you are either being looked for or if you are sneaking up to an enemy. Another handy part of using prone is the prone camel, helping to hide you from passing drones or helicopters and even foot soldiers will be fooled, providing they don't trip over you. Be aware of your enemies and of your surroundings. Using prone cabo will make you a sitting duck, but if used successfully, you will be in a powerful position from which to strike. Breakpoint's map is a chain of islands within the South Pacific and that has streams, rivers, 
and ponds scattered all around it. Therefore it is more than likely you will need to swim at some point whether it be to get from A to B or to stealthily swim into a docking area or make an assault on a beach. By stealth swimming you are submerging yourself within the water so that you are less likely to be detected by the sentinel or wolves, allowing you to make swift moves on enemy bases from the water with stealth and certainty that you are not going to be detected. Breakpoint provides an asymmetric experience in which for the first time in the saga the enemy is better armed, better prepared and has better technology than the ghosts and therefore the diverse environments of Aurora are some of your most reliable allies. You are able to hide in vegetation and long grass and bushes to maintain your cover while moving around the outdoor objectives in a way that makes you a true ghost. Camouflage is something you can take advantage of when playing along to improve your gaming experience. On the one hand, you can take advantage of the tall grasses in that will provide cover for you from the possible enemies nearby, allowing you to make the appropriate small steps to taking out your target but be careful as some ground materials amplify the range of your footsteps sounds. Crawling through the foliage will provide you with the ability to not be detected as easily. You can smear mud, wet sand, wet earth and even snow across your face and arms to lower your chance of detection. It may seem like a mere mechanic but is much more. When you have to infiltrate alone between turrets, drones and others, the experience is enriched and makes the use of vegetation an obligation that gives a lot of realism to the mission. The handgun can be your first or second form of defence against your enemies. With more than 12 handguns in games since launch, with different levels of effectiveness, it makes these handguns one of your handiest weapons within the game. They are small, portable and easily concealed, so their integration within Breakpoint fits the tactical stealth genre of the game. A handgun can be your first line of defence, as it's much quieter when using the suppressor than your normal primary weapon, allowing for easy CQCs where you are taking out enemies swiftly and at ease. Alternatively, it can be your second form of defence, as you may want to first take out a bunch of enemies with a sniper or designated marksman rifle before infiltrating the base with your handy handgun taking down the remaining enemies. You can use the Echelon class to take full advantage of the handgun within Breakpoint. The ability with this class allows you to snap the targets and shoot them down with ease. Therefore it is suggested that you use this class when you are using the pistol as your main weapon against your foes. In Breakpoint, guns are rated for their accuracy, handling, recoil, mobility and range, alongside statistics showing you the damage, reload speed and so forth. You can upgrade these even further by using the gunsmith within breakpoint, hover over a weapon within the loadout screen and hold the G key to get into the gunsmith menu. This will be the X button on Xbox and the square button on Playstation. Here you'll be able to use the parts from dismantled guns for small weapon perks, equip attachments and change the appearance of your weapon. All changes you make to a weapon in the gunsmith will apply to all levels of that weapon going forward. Upgrading your weapon after dismantling weapons will allow you to work your way through the marks that exist within the gunsmith. Depending on your weapon, you'll get different improvements to your weapon as you upgrade, with the max upgrade being Mark 3 giving you a better passive perk once you have unlocked marks in the skill tree. You can purchase attachments through the shop in Erewhon or they are found in loot crates dropped by enemies all crafted from blueprints you found. You are able to equip and change from magazine, muzzle, rail, scope and underbarrel within the gunsmith. You can also change the appearance of any attachment and your overall gun in the gunsmith in Ghost Recon Breakpoint by selecting the paint tab to customise each part of your weapon. While the suppressor will allow you to eliminate enemies around you with ultimate stealth and even take down a whole base if you really wanted to, you may want to opt into a different route and take off that suppressor and go guns blazing. 
With the ability to do this at any point, it makes you a walking machine if you've got the appropriate weaponry to take down the plethora of bases around Aurora. Taking off the suppressor will improve your range and you'll get that 20% damage that you'll be missing if you put on the suppressor. Though be careful as taking off that suppressor will give your position away when you are shooting, causing a host of enemies running towards you and wanting to take you down. Breakpoint offers you multiple different ways to play, whether it's taking on everyone you come across or trying to sneak around when you can. Though there are plenty of moments where you absolutely have to get in gunfights, therefore you may get hurt, sometimes as a result. The game doesn't automatically recover your health, but rather requires the use of items like bandages and syringes to heal your character. The great thing about bandages are that you have an infinite supply of them to use unless you are opting for a more grittier gameplay experience with the ghost experience. By selecting to use the bandages it starts a process of healing all your wounds, though the issue here is that it can take a while to heal yourself, making it not a great option for when you are in the middle of combat, therefore ensuring you have enough cover before using them is vital in order to survive.